Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another video from me, the Scarender. And today I got something really, really, really special and something I've been holding off for a bit, mostly due to Moon and Sun being revealed. I uh, didn't want to actually get my title just right because of uh, the reveal itself. was a bit unsure what this was gonna be, but I made a list way back of 10 months I really want to see. Uh, getting a new Mega Evolutions, and um, this is no list of the specific top 10, it's more the 10 mods I want to see, and there is no real order to them, I just want them in a fashion usable as of uh, now these mods are either a bit weak or just not used at all in that fashion. So uh, basically I'm gonna throw of course up their stats, how I could see them benefiting or changing, and uh, hopefully uh, some kind of ability that would work with them. So it's not too in-depth, but it leaves a few thoughts, and I'm really interested to hear what you guys really are thinking about these mods in general. So, with that said, let's start off with the most obvious one. Before, of course, Flying is gonna get you know, his chance in the sun, really. And um, Flying of course, is a mod that many people really wanna see getting a big evolution. Uh, from the start, basically, people were wondering why this mod in general hasn't been introduced and I really really hope it happens now. Jayabrig is definitely very aware of of course that people want to see Flygon getting a bit of a boost and the way I see it uh, as of Flygon is right now is a, actually a decent defogger-ish um, and it's okay bulk on it. 80 is actually quite respectable in some fashion and its typing is not that bad. The issue is that there are a lot of other mods with the same typing, or not a lot of mods, but a few that are with the same typing are just that much better than Flygon. Now, the way I want to see Mega Flygon is basically a new ability called Ga Gaiolate, and it's gonna work the same way as Pixelate, uh, that is turning moral typing into earth based damage, and of course, I want to see the new Limbon move being, of course, Boom Burst into Flygon, getting that 30% boost in, for, yeah, 30% boost in attack. Uh, with combination of Boombers being now a stab move. Uh, so basically it's gonna get what I would call the Pidgeot treatment and getting heavily specially oriented. Um, bit of a boost in defenses and just a small boost in speed to outspeed what could be considered it's kind of bigger issues um, without really going overboard with it because it still have to be some kind of, you know, we can't go all on at it and it really needs a lot of special bulk or special attack to uh, break through smarter. So yeah, I think this is kind of justified. And like I said, this is probably the only mod that is really, really obvious and a mod I really, really believe is gonna be introduced. We need it, we desire it, and we want it badly. The next one is actually probably a bit funnier and that is actually Mega Wishcast. Now, I have for the longest time uh, had a big crush on Mega Wishcast uh, as a de defined idea, really. Uh, Wishcast has been a very, very forgotten mod, and the thing I want to see with it is either keep the type in water ground, but it would just be so cool that this thing just turned water dragon for some reason. It got the ability to regenerate her in that kind of fashion. Now, the idea is that it gets a bit more in the bulk, but not a whole lot, uh, get a bit stronger, a bit faster, and have a boost on its special attack just in case off, really, and uh, I could have been the spread more defensively, but I really like the idea of uh, a more offensive uh, regeneration mod, and uh, it has access to Dragon Dance, so I know it can keep coming back, basically. Its move pool right now are a bit shallow, and um, Earthquake and Waterfall will take you quite far, but uh, there are things to keep in mind. I was, by the way, considering Mold Breaker on it, too. Uh, it would have made sense in, in a fashion, but like I said, we have actually no Mega Evolution as of right now that has Regenerator and Wishcast kind of with its typing fills that void. I really really think that something like could work and um, what it brings to the meta, not a whole lot, it's just a funny idea and that it all comes down to. Um, Water Dragon would be really cool to see on a lesser used mod. Uh, as of right now Water Dragon is a, not only a rare typing, it's actually just non-existent and uh, it's not too shabby actually and it could definitely keep up with a lot of it. Like the type of combination is a good defensive typing for other mods to work with. So I really believe that this is a very good 
copy paste mod for the meta, but as a standalone Pokemon, it doesn't really do anything outside of the defensive capabilities that this type can bring. And you know, Witch Catch, for fuck's sake, right? The next pickup is actually Mega Rhyperior, and this is an idea I have had for quite a long time. Adrenaline, of course, is a new type of ability, and the basic idea is that Adrenaline is gonna work more towards that you don't have to recharge or boost up after a move, basically. For example, Solar Beam don't need recovery before going off, and um, attack like Rock Director don't need uh, uh, recharge time afterwards, much like the impact on Hyper Beam. So that would mean the Rhyperior could hit really, really hard, and uh, we actually took away some speed to it, mostly due to I think it's kind of needed, and uh, also we can put that speed loss on its base special attack and of course we're gonna give a general bulkiness of course both in special attack and defense because it's gonna be slow enough to be forced to take hits and we're gonna of course have its attack even further boosted which means that this tank will be a really really monstrous one and I was consider of course you know the, the usual things you know keeping the solid rock and stuff like that but that wouldn't really make um, right period that much more complex. We really need something that could punch forward anyway and uh, I really like the idea of a more tankier evolution. I've seen some stuff being more lightly and it gets faster. I think this is the right evolution for it and it would mean that we have our first prime physical attacker in the rock type. Uh, we have Terrakion, yes. We don't have the standardization which right period I think, I think it represents and um, to make it work better, it really, really need a really nice, monstrous, evil stab since it doesn't have access to head smash. And having rock regular spammable, um, yes, please. And having access to solar beam as to get go, oh yes. It's such a good special attack pool, so I really want to use that. Next one is, of course, Noctowl. And Noctowl has been a very very nice model for me, I really like its overall design and uh, if I ever have to see a Mega Evolution out of Noctowl, it would be to be more specified on what it does really well right now, you know, it's a very specially tanky mod and I really want to see that furthermore. Now it has a kind of an issue with its normal flying typing as Mega Pitfall has too, but to kind of solve that or remedy it, I would say the Magic Guard would be the right way to go. I was considered Magic Bounce, but really now, if I were to see this guy, I really, really would prefer uh, a fashion that is more designed towards uh, it being more resilient and more harder to kill. So boost, of course, its defenses, its special defense must skyrocket, boot, bit more speed boost basically to not be too walled by other tanky mods. And of course, this mod can't be toxic salt in combination with roost which I think is impeditable to mod like this. And Boost of course is a special attack because it has a very, very nice move pool and uh, I think it could do really well with that in mind with moves like Heat Wave, of course Air Slash and uh, Psychic Move and Calm Mind which means that this car, or this wild car I was gonna say, is um, very setup heavy. It could definitely work really well and uh, I think this would be the right approach for a mod that as in the meta right now is uh, quite rare and uh, for obvious reasons it really isn't that good but with the right design and the right pushes and the right uh, of course defenses it could be a very setup heavy mon that could survive a lot of things and would be another flying monster much like Skarmory and Hunchcrow that just are pretty much impossible to kill and I want to see Noctile become of course that mon in mind. And for next month, I really, really want to thank the guys at the TBU actually. Um, of course, being Mega Type Lotion. And they were patching idea that I thought was really, really smart and something I definitely could get behind of. That is, of course, is Type Lotion with Mold Breaker. The thing is that Mold Breaker would solve a lot of issues that Type Lotion has. Uh, definitely flash fire issues that is very prominent of not of course the most resilient one in OU being Heatron and the best evolutions I want to see of Type Lotion is actually that it has a very very respectable physical move pool and I really want that thing to be established as such it has access to like a Thunder Punch for example uh, Earthquake, Flare Blitz 
and can in, all in all hold its own. I really want to see that move full beyond Force Broaden. Um, it still gets just about the same kind of boost in special attack, so it's just uh, hit. I think it hits slightly harder on the special side and gets an extra speed boost to make sure it eruption hurts for real. So it can be a good mixed attacker. It's still kind of fragile and uh, gave it some special defense basically to void off the more actually common mons in higher tiers be more specially oriented of course being special tanks it can take a few hits of this guy uh, I do believe this is the right course for type lotion you could go for a more specially oriented one but as it move pulls stand right now I don't see the reason for spamming eruption when I know that of course that type lotion can do a lot more like I got him a lot more and the extra speed puts it even you know, just above your average mon when it speed here, and I think it could pull that off really nicely. So I would have no doubt in my mind that this would be something that I at least could get behind when it comes to course type lotion itself. And also, Escalo, if you're watching, thank you so much for this suggestion. It's a very, very nice idea. So the next mon is Magnuson, and uh, yeah, I was juggling back and forth. If I should make it, of course, uh, Mold Breaker or anything else, but it came down to the essentials, and that is what would make Magnus Zone more terrifying today, and that would be, of course, losing its real issue, which, of course, is its quad weakness to uh, ground type moves. So having Levitate on it might put it in a bit of a broken kind of state. It still has issues. It still has the fighting and fire weakness, which I believe. Are to be considered dangerous but it's getting a whole lot worse with this in mind uh, it's gonna get a small boost in its defense we're gonna put a lot of base uh, race in of course a special attack because i do believe this guy should hit really hard um, since it has a pretty lackluster move pool uh, you pretty much go into rely on its stabs anyway so you might as well make sure that those stabs hit even resistedly so i think it's a bit too much but at the same time it has a lot of things to offer uh, special Defense is going to get a bigger boost because it's now bigger issues are of course fire hits which usually are specially oriented and of course also that it has some kind of kind of bad special defense it's not really that bad but in contrast to its natural defense yeah I'll say it's bad and its core speed going to boost to 80 base at least it's not a huge boost and I don't consider it should have been much larger than that that makes sure they can deal with a lot of tankier mons and being able to outspeed them, but that's pretty much the size of it. I don't believe this guy should be a lot more faster because, like I stated, that boost in his special attack is gonna make this thing dangerous, and it got like, access to Autonomize, I believe, anyway, which means it can double his speed anyway, which will make this guy goddamn terrifying to face if this were its real evolution. But yeah, I really wanna see Magnuson getting a mega evolution, and I really wanna see that evolution solve his biggest issues. Coming up next is Lapras, and yeah, Lapras is one of those mons that have, in my regard, of course, very good stats from the get-go, very balanced, bit on the slow side, but its move pool combination with its typing is what's holding it back, and I was debating how to try to get it to work more properly, and I think one of the best things to kind of cut from it is its water typing, and put Dragon basically there. I could go for a Water Dragon, but at the same time, I feel that the Ice Stab is what make Lapras good in the first place, and of course, with the moves like Freeze Try, uh, you can definitely work around much better with that in mind. So basically, this is a Feather Cure without roofs, basically. Uh, you get access to Solid Rock, I was debating, you know, anything like Lightning Rod or anything like that, but if you're gonna go for Dragon Typing, then I do believe Solid Rock helps the most here. Like I said, Ice Typing is probably the only type in there that kind of nerfed this bond in all kinds of ways, so I really want this guy very fat. So some small boosts to his offenses, of course, special attack and attack being boosted slightly. Uh, no boost to speed and uh, defenses are actually quite bulky, making this guy kind of hard to kill and um, with the likes of, of course, Solid Rock, it should be able to maintain itself rather safely. Now, what could this mod possibly bring to the meta? Ugh. Probably not the most things, but if it comes to that, you know, obviously I really just want to see <laughs> Lapras being more used with a light demon itself, and uh, as of right now, it's pretty much unusable. Of course, with this set in mind, you're very, very friendly for, of course, making moves like Perish Song and Whirlpool, a thing being very, very thick, and uh, yeah, something like this is what I want to see on it, and um, if you guys have any other better ideas for Lapras, 
make sure of course to type it down down below because like I said it's typing is what makes this guy so hard to actually you know construct a well good rounded Pokemon. But right, one of the mods I really want to see is Polyrath getting a main evolution. And to be frank here, I didn't find anything that was kind of fitting what I wanted Polyrath to look like. So this feature was probably the best one to it. And uh, the reason I want Polyrath to make evolve is because it has very good move pool with some lacklustering physical stab move pool, but that could all be solved with the new ability being, of course, No Guard. Much like, of course, um, Pidgeot's Mega Evolution with Hurricane, Dynamic Punch is something that is actually included with Polyrath that learns naturally. So that's something I really want to see. And of course, with No Guard and Boost's special attack somewhat, it could use Focus Blast really properly. And just overall, it can be a good mixed attacker, doesn't really get that much boost in speed. And the most obvious reason for that is because it's kind of hard to make this thing balance. And uh, it still needs some extra bulk if it's gonna, of course, maintain itself. And just in general, I don't believe that a, a mod like this with no guard should be too fast and spamming dynamic punches. It's just, it's not that nice. It's kind of hard to work around. And I think this would at least put it a bit back. And uh, just in general, Polyrath is very sturdy on itself. And can definitely take a few hits, and I really want to elaborate on that. And like I said, small boost is, is attack too, which makes it hard, hard hitting, really, really hard hitting. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say about Polyrad. Like I said, I think No Guard would solve a lot of things. Dynamic Punch, Focus Blast, being 100% accurate, and uh, just in general, th that would mean that this guy could be a very, very good wall breaker in any meta recently. But of course, this guy is gonna seek to owe you. Had it, of course, been a mod because this kind of combination is just too good to pass up on. And the upcoming mod here is something I really, really believe is gonna hit off, of course, in um, Moon and Sun, and that is Mega Machomp. And uh, the ability it's gonna get for me is contrary. I would really like to see a very sturdy, bulky, massive uh, fire type getting contrary. That means that the moves like Close Combat boost. Its defense is by one uh, move like superpower, boost attack and defense. And of course, it doesn't have a hammer arm as of right now, but I'm sure that could be fixed. Hammer arm would have boosted its special or its speed, which is something that I really think would be nice on this mod. It doesn't get that much bulkier boost because, like I said, contrary kind of solves the rest. And I really, really don't want to make this guy much faster. Uh, for me, Machamp has always been a very, very respectable mod that is said it's. It is fit, it is bulky, it, it could stand the test of time of being just a very, very calm fighter. And uh, I don't think its ability should be grasped on, of course, its speed in that regard, but more like a grandmaster, you know, being calm and uh, fighting as the battle goes on, just counter back and not easily be defeated. So, yeah, that's why I basically meant to make Masham a bit on the slower side. Uh, 65 base speed is still respectable, but obviously that means that it's going to be forced to take hits and uh, with this ability contrary it should be able to maintain itself rather nicely and um, of course this guy can set itself in motion um, just fine by itself so this is definitely a mod that could touch on a bit of a broken side the typing keeps it from not being too good but at the same time it's very obvious that if this were to happen that Machamp would have been an extremely dangerous fighting type that you don't want to deal with properly if you don't have the likes of Anaware, because this guy could easily set up against you and there is really nothing stopping this mod from sweeping from the first turn. And now of course we come to the last mod, and it's not Stoutland, it's Tropius! Tropius is a mod I really, really want to see getting a Mega Evolution, one of my favorite mods definitely. Uh, outside of Steelix and Stoutland, Tropius is definitely the mod I really want to see getting a Mega Evolution. And like I said, it's definitely one of my favorites. Now, I always pictured Tropius being some kind of a dragon, so losing his flying typing for dragon typing would make sense. It would be a copy paste Sceptile, but a bulkier one at that, a bit slower. Uh, getting Thick Fat basically to maintain itself bit better. Uh, you can definitely take fire type move now, obviously, because of the dragon typing. But also, Ice Shot and stuff like that are not a 1 KO, depending on the set, of course. But um, I'm gonna reduce its um, special attack a bit because this guy could be physically nasty. 
Um, he has access to the likes of Dragadass, Outrage, and uh, I only see this as a natural evolution for it of actually being that focused on it. Uh, we're gonna raise the speed stat by 30, making it faster than Mega Altaria, which I believe is a good thing, even though it's kind of hard world by it anyway. Um, but it's good to at least beat AD base, I do believe that's a good thing. Um, makes it faster than most walls anyway. And uh, special defense and defense basically make this guy thick, much like Lapras. Just make sure you can take a few hits, and rest is on attack, and uh, it's basically so he doesn't have to set up too much to work well. Now, I will say that having 98 in base attack is not a huge boost, but with one Dragodaz it should be hit hard enough, and it has the defenses to pull that off rather properly. So, we, yeah. That's actually my list. Now, obviously, this list was heavily, heavily constructed uh, way back when, but I really wanted to just get this thing out of the way and show you guys a few thoughts and something I really wish were to happen with Pokemon. Hopefully, Sun and Moon will elaborate on these things, and I don't know. I really, really just want to see uh, the next generation of Pokemon being more focused on the weaker ones. I know I showed a lot of strong ones and I should get a Mega Evolution, but um, my favorite ones are the ones that are very, very late. And uh, Tropius Mosham and Polyrath are the ones I really want to see getting a Mega Evolution because they're really good, but probably not good enough as of the meta, of course, right now. Uh, Tropius being quite terrible, honestly. Uh, but yeah, that's all for the list. I want to thank everybody for watching as always. Make sure to, of course, leave a like and, um, you know, sub and whatnot. And of course, if you want to see more top 10s, uh, make sure of course to write it down below and top 10s you really want to see. And uh, I'll get back to you guys whether or not I'll do them. So thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care.